Welcome back, you fox lovers, to another video. And today we are going. Well, and we're, we're today we're back playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Hold up, no, that's six. This. There, we are back playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And look, look at this. Hold up, look. I come, I come over here to my load. I come over here to chapters. There's still three more chapters left. I don't know what those chapters are. I know this one is at the end of the class trial, which is the one we're about to do now. We're gonna do con do the investigation to do the tr class trial next video. And yeah, I don't know what these last two are. I know there's the one with the second class trial, but what's this one? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um. So I guess we should just continue. Let's let's uh, get into this. Okay, so this is where we left off. Um, but yeah. <coughs> Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... Dead. I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. I told ya, there's a corpse hanging out here. No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to... Uh, you need to begin looking around right away, however. Be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Oh, Jesus. We need to find out who... Um, this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing, uh, they're, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. Those shoes, those hands. Hmm. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know. Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. I don't know. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to a knife that's been driven into their... Um... Thanks to a knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood, um, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful. You don't, um, be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? huh? How can you tell? Well... Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, and more... <laughs> yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, then. Yes! Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't! But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out towards the mask, and in the next instant, kaboom. <laughs> there was a blinding light and a, def uh, and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It 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 blew up. <laughs> My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out, but then, come on, hurry up and put, um, hurry up and put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, <sighs> um, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone, um, someone pressed something into my hand. It was a bucket of water. <laughs> come on, um, come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I, I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. 
Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. I died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what did you say? I had, a f I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now, the body. What? Um, it's a- it's- a, it's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. Um, but now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um... There's only one person missing. Um... It's Kyoko. K Kyoko? Then that dead body... It's Kyoko? No, that can't be right. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. But... But, I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words... The Mastermind. Huh? What? What? The Mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way. The Mastermind's got charred broiled. <laughs> um, get serious. Hm. I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have no reason to believe. <sighs> but I have no reason to believe it may be true. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its mastermind is dead, right? But... But, but that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the mastermind is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school, right? What the heck? He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? With the corpse obviously, um, which the corpse obviously isn't. But then, could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Hmm. Is it... The teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? huh? Mukuru Ikosaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, as Kyoko told me, was... Mukuru <sighs> Ikosaba, the 16th student. Lying hidden somewhere in this school. Okay. One may call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuru Yosaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. What are you doing? <laughs> There's another student here, and it's a female. That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And the phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuru. Mukuru, um, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair? But 
if she's been hiding here. Oh, that was weird. Okay, but I didn't get to. Why is it on auto? Turn off auto. <laughs> okay. Hold up, I think it's three then. But she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot. How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? Okay. Get up, get out of this. None of this makes any sense! Do you just suddenly show up and then die? I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it, who it is. Ah! Hey, wait! What? What? Uh, are we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Cat, stop it. Stop it. Oh yeah! She got totally blown up, huh? Forget hmm. about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. <laughs> okay. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Huh? What uh, happened, Master? You declared, um, you declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oxygen. <laughs> okay. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. Okay. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Okay, chart. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Shut up, whatever your name is, Owie. <laughs> don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body at all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. Okay, Ooh, the music just got all weird. Ooh, what's this? There's something next to the body. It's... It's a key! Um, is it what Kyoko took from Anakuma? No, it's not. Um, but what did you steal? I stole this. So... See, it's not. A key? How do you even get that mixed up? The key looks completely different. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Uh, then this key is... What is this? What? Did you find something? Yeah! This was on the ground ne um, near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then? Makoto, hm. I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? That key might give you access to a s to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean the bio so lab, the words. data center, and the headmaster's room? Um, or uh, the bio the bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm room on the second floor. I don't think it's the dorm rooms on the second floor, cause that's like, uh, um, blocked off by gate. Um, it's in your hands. So I'm you. Uh, so I'm your errand boy now? Yes. Okay. Whoa. Everything looks so smooth here. Oh, I'm gonna go check the, the bio lab. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, when I went to enter the key, it, I had found in the garden into the keyhole, the key isn't even close to fitting, which means the key doesn't go to this room. I still don't get how that Kyoko key can open, what, that key that Kyoko took can open any, any room. I don't get that. <sighs> the door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. Roman tends to see I had found in the garden into the keyhole, click. Open. It looks like it belongs to this room. It fits! Then this key, um, then this is the key to the data center. 
I'd managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. Yep. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center. On I'm down on the fourth floor. Huh? Then we can get into the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased um have that key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. I didn't get to explore everything up here though. Whatever. Hmm. I should have I should have done it all first before I picked up this key. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, You're asking um... that question now. <laughs> Don't worry, we have Mikoto. What? In other it's words, in your hands again. <laughs> it means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Okay, okay. Let me open this. No, my batteries are low. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. <laughs> Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. I need to redo this room. <laughs> It looks completely different from how I built it in Dangarapa. Minecraft is how I built in Minecraft. In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It was a surface fear like the rest of the school here. The fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? Hey, what? that's... Hero extended his trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Oh yeah, how's the mastermind gonna look at us? Where do you where do you think the cameras like there has to be some place in the school that the cameras are linked to to actually view um, what's stuff on the camera? So why are you guys surprised? Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, even part of the school was covered. Every part of the school is covered, apart from the the other room, right? The, the bathhouse. There you go. This is what? Um, it's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So, so the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. What? To watch us? Huh? Then this room is... It's all the Mastermind's clear. private room. Huh? The Mastermind's room? I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here... Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settled it. Huh? huh? Hm. The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. Oh, crap, hold up. Hold up. Need one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuru Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. The, huh? the uh, then the mastermind is dead, like really dead. It would seem so. <laughs> For serious? What? It's so. <laughs> it's too bad. They had to go and die before master could kill them themselves. What? The mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously, di um, they obviously didn't die a natural death. I don't think the entire body would be charred. Just take off the lab coat. Like, like it's not like everything can be like completely destroyed in a fire if you put it out in, in time. 
and you put it out quite like on time I guess it was like a while after it exploded but it wasn't that long after so you could you guys still see like the clothes they're wearing at least because not fully burnt whatever happened they obviously didn't die a natural death so who was um who was it that but, but right. if the mastermind really is dead that means we can finally get out of this hellhole we gotta hurry up and fix the exit come find the exit come on no, That's we have enough. to check this era, area thoroughly first. Huh? What about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide it to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm, bo hmm. and I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. M murdered? What? what? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Okay. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There is no absolute. There, there is at. There is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But, but, but why? It's gotta be the. Uh, but why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose, identify, and identity of the mastermind. Now you, do, you. now do you understand your you useless insect? You're banned from t talking to Master ever again. The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent. Um, who knows how much time here. Okay then, hmm. let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Um, okay, this room. What is this room? Right here. That room is... That a room we've already been to? I cannot tell. We might have been there. Um, I don't know. No matter what, no matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they, um, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? No matter when, oh. <clears throat> Hurry up and what find something for the master. Okay. I mean, I want to know why they were killed as much as the next guy, but I also really want to get out of here. What? What's your? There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So hmm. we can't. Um. So what? We can't do anything. Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What hmm? century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network, and alter ego. You hmm. may well be right about that, but there's no point what? in thinking about it now. You're right. Okay. There's nothing showing up on this one. Huh? Hmm. Hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Did huh? someone say TV? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. <laughs> uh, hmm. are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, you know? you're all starved for info from the, uh, from the outside world, huh? All right, mm. let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? I don't know. What is this uh, thing? 
there's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all, um, all to spy on us. As long as I have this. <laughs> huh? Look at Ma Master Go. It's like a feast for the eyes. Ows. Much is a monthly membership. Oh, okay. This store is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could it be inside? Rattle, rattle. Now look. The door's locked, um... huh? What if you use the key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Rattle, rattle. Nope. No good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Mm. Well, Yeah. Um, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with the Monokuma picture on it. But worrying about it isn't going, isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right, the mastermind's uh, gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Mm, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Huh? Oh, 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 oh! What's wrong? Good news mm. um, for all of you Saturday morning, Saturday. <laughs> Uh, good news for all of you Saturday morning kitties out there. <laughs> I, I think I got the TV working. Really? Uh. Now all we gotta mm. do is switch it on. Then do what? it. Friggin' uh. idiot mastermind, all you guys need to cut free from your re uh, cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the and they were sitting here watching TV the whole time? They really thought they could get away with it? Huh? Huh? This is... It's mm. the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitor, monitor, monitoring this room, isn't it? Huh? What the heck? That's weird. Hey! Come on! What are you doing? That's really weird, hmm? Y you're weird! Mm. Weird in every way possible, and not just weird, super weird! But, but this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing from the camera feed? Did you try changing well, the channel? Oh, good idea. Um, Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? heck? Is it mm. broken or something? No! Could it Must be? be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually... Mm, I'm not sure, but... Uh huh? Hmm? Hmm? What? Huh? Hold up, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. What? Yeah, yeah, been a while. <laughs> been a while, you friggin' bastards. M Monokuma? Hmm? How? Huh? You're supposed to be the Ted. Uh, yeah, <laughs> me? Dead? Don't be friggin' stupid. What? Hey, you're acting kinda strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course, I'm a different evolution. I'm, uh, of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh... Not even, not even. It's been like half a day at most. Ooh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Boo-hoo-hoo! 
the luck on your... Uh, the look on your faces right now is sublime. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see the moment you went from a hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. Ah, why did I click that? <laughs> why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who's supposed to pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's totally laughable. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> well now. Okay. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your your past, so full of hope, and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. Huh? Can't be serious. We have to keep going? Let me out of here! No! We were supposed to get out of here! Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here! And besides! This life isn't all bad, you know! I mean... Why do I keep clicking it? This life isn't all bad, you know! I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. <laughs> if it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> okay. Well now. Whoa, I'm pooped all, uh, from all that laughing. Guess I'll just get to the point now. Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed, that TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I know it was hiding a secret of some kind. The heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> oh, look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming from on the um coming in on the antenna. Huh? huh? But what does that mean? What it's the displaying the, the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Ah, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, the killing thrills. game is being broadcasted live to the entire world. And it's the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcasted live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even I understand the words. I'm not sure. Um, even I understand. Um, even if I understand the words, I'm not sure I understand the deeper meaning. Huh? What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh no! The, the camera feed is being broadcasted. No way. That's impossible. Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that. All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwave is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my mind. Like a boat tossing the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits. Tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they've never seen before. I became the director of a despair based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best of, uh, the best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If 
this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah. There's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if they already did? Huh. Yes, indeed! But then again, if... Um, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you. But who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be! But to take control of all communication like that, uh, you need an astro um, astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep! So how could things have come this far? Well, yeah! it's a secret! There is something you all need to do first. Remember? What? Of course! Yeah! Duh! There's the little business of... A body has been discovered! Wow. Wow, now? Now you do this After now? a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Okay. Huh? huh? Class trial? Do you mean... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot read it's that. The I'll leave the file. next Monokuma file right here! Everyone give it all you've got! Okay? Heart-pounding excitement! Okay! Things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! Yeah, I can't wait either. <laughs> and then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think it took everything I had um, just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. mm. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally, we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What, what are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikosaba was the one who died. <laughs> The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monkum is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukuru Ikusaba, isn't dead. <laughs> Have you ever thought that Mukuru Ikusaba is not the mastermind? So naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. There's many other possibilities. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because, because I, I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. Well, I've already completed all five of her, or I, I've already got her star, whatever. Call it. I don't even know who she really, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not, it does, doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> Anyways, we'd better begin. But... But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer... That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There's 
Um, there is a, ver a vertible mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. Okay, investigation time. Well, I'd better start by checking uh, out my profile. Due to an explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object, about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who they, uh, who the victim actually is. The unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what I have, no, ma no matter what, I have to find out what happened or we're all dead. I need to go back um, to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. Okay. I'm glad you took me, uh, so I didn't have to walk. The suit is gonna be quite long because I'm barely starting the investigation. <laughs> okay, time to start. Uh, time to get started, I need to check um, anywhere that may be important, from um, one end to the other. I just need to know what I always do. Okay. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe they'll f maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Okay, yep. This. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of normal activities. Kyoko can't have fingernails that are that long because she's wearing gloves. Fake nails have been added to triple success. Um, there's also something on the back of her hand. Is this a tattoo? It got all it got burnt. I can't make sure I, I can't make out the whole thing, but it looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Okay, tattoo the right hand. Uh, the upper, the upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top of half of the body is wet. That's because it got set on fire and it threw the water. Since I only threw the water on the part of the body that was on fire, the top half. Uh, okay. In other words, there is nothing strange about the top half of being wet. There isn't, right? Okay, that's kind of sus, not gonna lie. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped the bucket of water on it. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? No, there's everything strange about it. Uh, oh, so I haven't seen everything. Her shoes? No, I can't see her shoes. What is this interactive here? Um. Yes, step away from the dead body. Now this. So knife lying on the ground. Is this? Must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. Uh, the force of the explosion must have thrown it, uh, thrown it over here. Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this is um, this knife. It looks really familiar. Wait, is this? We've already uh, we've already uh, went through this before. That's it. It's the knife that that person was holding. And it's also the knife that was in your drawer. It's getting really weird. There are just um, too many strange coincidences. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And, um, and that same knife was used to stab the same masked attacker we found here. Okay, so maybe the masked person got stabbed because 
、uh, when they attack, when they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife, and maybe then I, I. <sighs> and if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? Hold on. Turned off my fan. I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, no, it can't be. There's no way. Okay.、And、this. These look like fragments of something. A lot of burns, so I can't really be sure. But where? Wait, was it there? I have、uh, to double check that later. Okay. I think I know what they're talking about. Talking about the bomb. I remember there was some. Chickens in the chicken coop. I count four chickens. Huh? Four? Yo, what's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here?、Mm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right. Hmm.、Huh? What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. Where are one short? Huh? Ah! Ah! So weird. I wonder when it disappeared.、What? I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens there. What? What? what are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy! It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappeared, the entire world would remain unfinished. I do my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Okay. I'm trying to speed run this investigation, dude. <laughs> this is the panel that controls the sprinklers. They're turned at、uh, seven thirty every morning, and Monokuma said the time positively cannot、um, couldn't be changed. Hold, hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at seven thirty each morning, right? Um. Then if the body was here before, then the sprinklers should have gotten what got into wet. Which would mean the murder must have taken place. Here, just to be sure, I should check in the tool shed. <laughs> um, this room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereotypical tool shed. Is this a tarp? Wait, was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. Um, it could be related to the case. That's Lamor. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the other side, um, it's totally clean and completely dry. Once that the top is wet and dirty, something about that bothers me. Yup, the body was covered with the tarp, and it got wet. Um, that's the one thing in here that concerns me. Okay, I think I've looked at everything over here.、Uh, no, I haven't. So I think I have to talk to everyone.、Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? So in other I like, words, I'd like to hear your alibi. Alibi? In other Correct. Words. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was sleeping all night. But why are you、uh, um, asking about that now? And what's night and what's nighttime got to do? Naturally, it's obvious this murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure?、Hmm. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going, I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them that Monokuma, here has been, here has been spending most of his time in the garden, the last few days. So I figured he'd be here. And I confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here.、In、so the murder、words. could only have taken place at some point during nighttime, after I left the garden. However, Toko Hiro and Hina, Toko Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's room to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling our room.
as a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us had airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis are me. Uh, oh, that's me speaking. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. If the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only then I'm the only one with al an alibi. Hmm. Also, when we went to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? We never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth. I was in my room when I was dead, um, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so that's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so what now? You seem to be quite. You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Okay. Can I leave now? No. Toko. So, who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to faint it anymore. Not this again. <sighs> Listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right... Was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and um, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Yakuya said not to touch it to avoid getting all the blood all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I um, I didn't see any on the ground and around it. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Um, now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Um, well, having to, um, well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Okay. And then, hero. Mm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Anakuma announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock, okay. Once I got there, I met up with Hina and it was around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym, waiting, okay. Next, Toko went to go get the pickaxe and then she found the body. What time was that? Uh, what time was it then? Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well... When we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on dot now. That's right. Um, it had to have been right around 9 o'clock. You know ah, it? now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. Okay. I think I've checked everything I need to uh, in this area, but I'm not done yet. Um, there are other areas I need to check, specifically the fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions, and I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... It's all clear, I will simply though. limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicion, a suspicious activity. What? Even my options? Just give, give me up. the key to your room. I don't have a choice. Um, I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Okay. Not this. How did I even click this? Clicking his feet. Hey, um, Byakuya? Hm. If you do come up with an alibi, I'll be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh, no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. 
What? Of course. If I if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later, and we'll see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay then. The, um, in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. Yeah. Uh. Well, to the gym. Now, nah, bomb's not here. Monokuma. Uh, laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? I just found something. Um, what is it? it it's. Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A b what? bomb? And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragment I found in the garden. Fragment near the dead body had been updated, okay. Okay, I've checked everything else, like, I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Byakuya. Okay, well, that's all I needed to do there. Time to head all the way back to the garden. Oh, Jesus. You think you can go soon? Uh, you think you can go soon, Byakuya? Let's you go. want to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Ah, oh, wait for me! Yakuya walked off without a second glance and heard, and I hurried after him on our way to the dorms. Okay, this is the last place we gotta check, and then uh, class trial will start, and then I can end the video there. Okay. Time to head over to Kyoko's room. Let me click that button. I can't unlock it myself, I need to ask Yakuya again. Well then, here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid into the keyhole, and then... And it's opened. Um, looks like it, thanks. Okay. Oh, this is how Kyoko's room looks. Boring. <laughs> so this is Kyoko's room. Looks like every other room. There's something on the table. It's a wooden block decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The locker... The lockers at those uh, really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. Hm. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. It's certainly but if possible. if it is a key, I think I might know what it is. Uh, what it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that that, that this might go to. The dojo? Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything else here. Can I leave? Such hey, I think it would be wise to look around a little bit more. Okay. Here's her bed. I don't see anything interesting, at least not as far as the case is okay. uh, Her bathroom. Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I'd better not look inside. <laughs> okay. Her drawers. I can't open those. Oh, no matter. Okay, that's just surveillance cameras. Maybe I talk to Byakuya. What? I wanted to come here, right? Um, so what is it you're looking for? Nothing particular, I just thought we might find some clue of her. Uh, okay. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. Come on! You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here. So, sorry. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete, something to give us, um, some sort of direction here. Well, concrete? Oh, I know! Earlier, Kyo gave me something. Huh? What is it? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. I, I don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it. Hm. What is, uh, what's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said uh, if something ever happens, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Okay. 
I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all <laughs> that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it mean? Under the sheets. Oh yeah. So over here, there was an opening part right here on this side of the room. Because this is a wall. But my wall is closed off much like this one. Um, in my dang around build. Just, um, mainly because that's where I have all the... I was thinking of breaking it, but then I realized that's where I have all the redstone to turn off, to turn on and off the lights and stuff. Because something be hidden under the bed sheets. Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as listed the sheets. What's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Class number, uh, 78 student registry, Mukuriko Saba. It appears to be Mukuru's, uh, Mukuru Ikusaba's profile. Yeah, um, looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and a... Uh, that's all. That must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Kyo Kyoko said, um, a... A uh, death without, um, said a death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. <laughs> I don't have time for your sentimental indulgence. Hurry up and finish your search. Uh, okay. I made an effort to pull myself together and, um, then uh, looked down at the profile sheet. Name Mukuru Ikusaba, sex female, the ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist, trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood, and s and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. Ah, uh, okay. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began winning. And began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school. <laughs> what? She's barely entering middle school? What the heck? While she and her family were on vacation on Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. Um, an intense um, international investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, uh, okay, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as um, Fit. Fen Fenrir? <laughs> Fenrir? For those four for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Okay. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> the ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't feel right. The world the the world I grew up in isn't like a completely different, it, um, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like, um, one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to, um, even compare the two. Uh, that's, that's how different this is. And, and, uh, that was how I saw things as just an ordinary person, but then I, I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their use, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Whoa, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player and... And a bit player is becoming a hero. Ah, it's you. Well, mm -hmm. what? what have you got in your pretty little hands there? What? Uh oh, you found her profile. So, so what if we did? Hey, don't freak! Come on don't now. freak me out. Uh, don't freak out on me. I'm, um, I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, but who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. 
Maybe I'll drag your corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are omnivores. Omnivores, you know? What? Are, rules, are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. <gasps> of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. So, oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well. Absolutely, I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is. Uh, how fair it, un uh, how unfair it all is now, can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one r writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in the killing game. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? <sighs> I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hallway, when you all first got together in the main hallway, back when, back when there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A misunderstanding? Are you saying? That's right, there were actually, there weren't actually 15 of you. The total number yes, of students indeed. taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16 then. So, dude, they keep playing the same thing. The one they called, watch out for. 16 student, Mukuro Ikosaba. She's part of this school life. So, the one making all the regulations is. Why? Why? Huh? Did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Oh, well, because. Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe the rating. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up in it. Uh, I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, Makes indeed. Sense. Okay, well, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get. So I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? I want to get back at that sneaky <laughs> Miss Kirigiri, so I'm gonna share a little secret with ya. Seriously? You know she wears um, those stupid gloves day in, day out, all the time. Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but she wears them to cover up a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> okay. Now, that's all you get. <laughs> oh, that was a pain to read. Kyoko wears the, those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, so on the back of her hand? A tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars. Which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Are you hmm. thinking about Kyoko again, huh? Forget about what? her. What matters right now is to uncover Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such God ignorant. must have really hated you to make you so dull. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuru was a student here. Obviously, right. Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuru is the one creating the rules on um, to the game. But why would he tell us that? And why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that, that provide and the mere fact that he said that provides that Mukuru is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mikuru is related to Case. Yeah, she's the one that died. It's Perhaps she's the possible. one 
who killed Kyoko. What? That would explain hmm. why we would have to have, and uh, that will explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she kills someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mercury is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Anyone hmm. should be able to come um, come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I began. Uh, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. But based what? on what Monokuma just told us, I have changed my mind. Mercury Ikosawa well, isn't now. the culprit. Huh? What makes you see that? We thought Mercury, hmm. the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good that's a good point. Mercury So in other words Mikuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense then, uh, than to assume that Mercury isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuru and come to the wrong conclusion. Hm, that's what makes sense to me. Uh, the way you s the way you say it, it definitely does seem possible. But if that's really true, if Mukuru isn't the killer, then who is? Well then, hm. I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places I need to investigate. Or any uh, that needs investigation. I should find out if that key to the dojo really, um, if that key and the dojo are really connected. Well, let's go. Okay, this better be the last part because I don't have. I'm running out of time. Uh, there are wooden lockers here. They use wood block keys, just like. Um, at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. Makoto, I do you see. see the locker farthest to the right? That's Very the strange. only one that doesn't have the key in it. You understand what that means, right? I should pr probably use the key we found the, um, on the locker, right? Well, right. just try it. Okay. I took out the block key and inserted it into the locker metal lock. You could have easily found out that that was the right key. It has a 6 on it. Click. The locker eagerly accepts the key and it opens. <laughs> there are arrows in here. It looks like 10 arrows in total. They look <laughs> like they were made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong six. Oh, there's something else in the locker. It's a wadded up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Is that a blood stain? I see. Um, if it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case or not? But how? Um, but how could it possibly be involved? I think that's um, all the locker has off for now. Is something wrong? It's very, very odd string. The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Oh, perhaps. Yakuya? Forget it. Hmm. Come on, we need to continue to the next location, huh? What next location? There's still something what? we need to look into. We need to know more about research. Fenrir? You mean the mercenary group that Makoto, um, Merkur, Makoto, um, was a part of? How are we supposed to find out about that? Isn't it obvious? Um, we're in this school. Would you go to to do research on something? Research. Are you talking about the archive? That's right. That's right. The archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Let's we only go. have so much time before trial begins. Let's hurry. Yep, we only have so much time. We need to hurry this up. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Yakuya seems to know the archive like in the back of his hand and went straight to the shelf in the back. Hmm. Um, he quickly returned to the file in hand. Right now I need to talk to Yakuya. Yeah. Dude, stop. I'm trying to talk to Yakuya. 
Bro, I'm on Byakuya. Let's take a look at this. Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? How did you make it all the way through high school without learning a single word of French? Well, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. Oh, whatever. I'll read it. I'll read it for you. But I expect you, um, you to repay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. Hold up. Gotta hide my thing. Look at that. It's, a uh, Makoto. It's like Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. Their, merely pres their mere presence is enough to strike fear into an enemy. They have been involved in countless military base battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely seized all activity. At present, their uh, continued existence cannot be confirmed. Um, there are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe, um, believe there were um, mounting internal tensions within the group, uh, within the group, and they simply employed it. What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of al alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. And the only reality these people are part of. Um, these people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> um, that's what makes it all sound so exciting. Exciting to find uh, definitely isn't the word I use for this. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Not you mention it. The report said something about their, about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? <laughs> uh, that's right, it said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that their member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad, would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean? Mikuriko Saba profile. Ding dong bing bong, yes, finally! Finally, dude. Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. Hmm. Then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during our during the class trial. That's right. It would seem that the the way. Uh, let's go. Okay. It would seem that way. Let's go. Okay. And I'm going up. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. This video is already quite long. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Next video, we're gonna do the class trial, which is the second to last class trial. There's only one more class trial after this one. And yeah, um, just I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, like, and subscribe. You know, and of course, I will see, hold up, uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, and... Bye-bye.